China is about to colonize space. Well, I mean, that's a very creative solution for their overpopulation problem. And their plans are pretty ambitious. So, can they really pull that off? We have an inside scoop on all the latest tech developments, especially coming out of Silicon Valley and China. We're tapped into this world and plan to reveal the most exciting developments for all of you futurists out there. Space is tricky. Creating facilities that can house humans up there is even more tricky. Now, imagine a space station that's just as big as a small city. As of right now, the International Space Station is still the biggest, long-term facility orbiting in space. But China seems to have their eyes on bigger goals. China already has their own space station orbiting Earth, but now the National Natural Science Foundation wants scientists to attempt building a large-scale facility that would span kilometers. They already have about 10 other projects that they're looking to fund, each costing a little over $2 million. Obviously, that's not enough to even complete a portion of the facility. And the International Space Station is a good indicator of what to expect financially. It's taken over $100 billion to build and upkeep for the past decade. On top of this, China is already in the process of building its own Tiangong space station, which will be about a fifth of the ISS. How many stations do we need in space? It's hard to believe that there are this many plans for space stations when we've barely dipped our toes in the possibilities of space travel and living. Yes, we have the ISS, but aside from that and unmanned ventures into our solar system, not much has really been accomplished as of now. With so many ventures being funded and planned, what makes this one so special? This would open up doors to the possibility of space colonies. I'm not talking about colonizing other planets. I'm talking about space stations that could be made to be self-sufficient enough to support life over time. It's been a huge staple in science fiction films and books, but this could be one of our biggest steps towards making that concept a reality. China's increased interest in space technologies and ventures has raised concerns among the general population, though. For one thing, space junk would definitely become a thing. On top of that, China has already had missiles and a small space station falling back to Earth uncontrollably. It makes you wonder just how ready they are for space travel. Everyone seems to view space as an endless opportunity, but the right steps need to be taken to make sure we don't cause too much of an impact on whatever life or concepts that could be out there in the cosmos. According to a research outline, China is hoping to utilize the spaceships for long-term orbital living. With big spaceships comes big problems, though. While NASA doesn't think that this concept is too far off the wall, they are concerned about the Chinese engineering that will go into the project, and the tiny price tag. But China is sure that the five-year research study for the project will definitely give them enough of an insight as to what would need to be considered next. So who knows? Maybe we'll be looking back at the Earth from a Chinese space station in a matter of time. If you're a futurist like us, support our channel by hitting the like button, and subscribe to see more of our inside stories. Technology is improving at an exponential rate, so continue looking forward into the future, because it'll be here faster than you think. Okay, onwards and upwards.